artifacts of Mars. And I am here in the uh, parking lot, Pony Falls Marketplace parking lot, to prove a point. Now, the global warming people continue to state that we're warming up. This winter is dragging on and on with no end, no end in sight. I'm going to show on the computer later uh, their forecast. They keep forecasting the spring's going to be coming. This has happened week after week after week. And then when you get to the actual days where they say it's supposed to warm up, most of the time it doesn't. It stays in the 30s and 20s. Now, it's not as cold as January, but it's still very cold. What's worse is we have an ice storm coming. I said an ice storm. This is April 14th. We don't get ice storms here. So I'm going to take you over the bank clock and show you for reference. This is April 14th. It's right around quarter after 7 or something like that. Now my home thermometer shows it a little bit uh, colder than this. This says 30. My home thermometer says uh, more like 22. This is for reference. I gotta back away from traffic. Uh, so that's just showing you and know what I'm talking about on temperature. I get into it with the liberals online, and they are irrational, completely irrational. They still expect me to believe that it's like 70 degrees out. They don't come up with a number because they don't dare. Well, what they expect you to believe, all right, there's some kind of disturbance. What they expect you to believe is that it's like 70 or 80 or whatever. Because they, they're claiming the earth is warming up. I just documented what the temperature is, so... Bank clock says 30. At home, it says uh, something else. Alright, I'm going to exit this area and head over to the park. There's some kind of disturbance going on. I don't know what's going on, so I'm out of here. I had not planned to do this, uh, do this video in a day, but I got frustrated with people online. They're sitting there and telling me how warm things are, and I'm expected to believe it. Oh, no, they don't come up with any specific numbers. No, they don't. But they'll just tell you the Earth is warming up uncontrollably, and it's humans' fault. Now... Conservatives concede that the climate fluctuates year from year, year to year. We concede that, but we don't believe that humans have anything to do with it, or very little. And the heat island effect in the cities, and that type of thing. But NOAA, National Oceanic and the Atmospheric Administration has been caught time and again fudging numbers. They've been caught in the act. Nobody ever goes to jail over it, which they should. I think the real answer here, you may as well get used to it, because if you've been following things, you know that the sun uh, is going blank. Not dark, blank. Sunspot activity is diminishing rapidly. Now, it's a simple fact that some sunspots get to be less, uh, it gets colder. But 
your average liberal doesn't look at it like that. You see, your average liberal believes that heat comes from carbon dioxide. The more carbon dioxide, the more heat. They're irrational. Like I said, uh, when I was in the parking lot there, these liberals are irrational. They don't have, uh, there's something missing in their brains, I don't know. Now, I am going to have to head on home. We have an ice storm forecasted, and it's finally just showing up. An ice storm in April, we don't have ice storms in April. We don't have them. They don't exist. Yet, here we go. This doesn't happen in April. I'm sorry, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to head on home. It is below freezing. It is raining. We're in deep trouble. How much ice we're going to get? Uh, the estimates I'm seeing on the computer. So I'll show you our... It's tough to tell. I looked at the map and the estimate was a twentieth of an inch. Depending on, or more, depending on where you are on the map. So, I'm going to head on home. It is starting to rain. This is going to freeze on. Uh, what happens... The explanation for how freezing rain occurs is you have a cold air mass closer to the ground level and you have warm air mass slide over it. When that happens, it starts to rain and it goes through the cold area and then it starts freezing. It becomes what's known as super cooled and then it freezes on. It freezes on to objects. It can cause an unbelievable amount of damage, depending on, well, depending on how much damage it does. I hope to God this is not like 1991. 1991, we really got screwed. This area, I was living in an apartment at the time. They had hot water but I didn't have any heat for like three days. Never saw the crews working either, but they apparently were. And Watertown got, got it later on, and they really got creamed. They got creamed much worse. I heard tales that their uh, foam poles were snapped into and things of that nature. I'm going to head on home. It's raining. I uh, shouldn't have come out here, but it wasn't a wasted trip. I needed some uh, grits and some pop. Hello, this is Artifacts from Mars again. This is part two. This is the desktop part of my video. I'm going to cut it very short. Now you can see. Here's the uh, forecast on the computer's weather thing. Uh, this cycle that you're seeing here has been repeated many, many times. Basically every week. Uh, for about two months or so. You know, you get into March, you start expecting spring. And... What they'll do, you can see the end of the cycle here, going ahead to Monday, it says 62. And here it says 40, for today it says 40, and then 43, 46, 37, 45, 40, all very, very cold for this time of year. 49, and then once you get to the next Saturday, it's 56. I guarantee you that'll say in 30s. Or maybe 40s. By the time we get to it. That cycle's been repeated over and over again. This uh, so-called spring. We're in deep trouble. It's cold enough outside. We're going to see what they say. Uh, temperature is. If they even have it. 
Feels like 17, 29. So, we are going to have an ice storm. How bad it'll be, I don't know. I have off grid heat, so, at least I'm not going to freeze stuff. But these people, I, I, I said this before, they're irrational. You cannot use reason with them. I'm going to show you my uh, chat group just to prove this. I tried, I tried to explain to them that this is a uh, very abnormal cold. Nope, plant's still warming up. Okay, this is my uh, tap talk. Used to be, uh, you can uh, tap a talk. Tap a talk. Uh, at any rate, and here's the thread that I started. So you see, they're sitting there. No already, as has been explained numerous times, this is not what you're being told. B.S. She calls me stupid and whatnot. I'm not stupid. It's cold outside. And I'm being told that it's warm. If the whole globe isn't warming up, then it's not global warming. Now is it? Please get a clue. No one can be this damn willful. He's stupid. They're irrational. It's like I said. It is cold outside. Real cold. And you cannot you cannot reason with them. If, if, if things were warming up, I should have seen 80 degrees out there. And the bank thermometer clearly said 30. Mine says uh, 20. It always uh, does that. It's always lower than what's out, the temperature outside. And my uh, car thermometer agrees with the bank one. This thermometer here has been proven to be reasonably accurate because the temperature will be... They'll say the temperature is above freezing, but I'll have things freezing outside, so... You can take your pick. Maybe it's 30, maybe it's 20. Maybe the thermometers are set intentionally high make you uh, think that it's warmer than it is. I don't know. You can't... You cannot reason with these people. This is my point. They are irrational. You gotta be careful what you say. I can't make a diagnosis here. If I try making a diagnosis, then I could get in trouble. But I can't say they're irrational. I'm not here to diagnose anything anyway. Well, there you have it. Um, we are in an ice storm. We got really is an ice storm warning, as I showed you. I'll take you back here briefly. Ice storm warning from 4:14:28, 4, 4 p.m. to 4:15. 2018, 2 p.m. It was actually, uh, or 2 p.m. today. But it just started raining. It's not doing much outside where I live. But in Monroe County it was. So we had that rain. We had that warm air mass. And it's dropping the rain through a cold air mass, it's going to freeze on, it's going to knock out power, it's going to take down tree limbs, God only knows it's going to take down power lines, I could be without power for days, but I don't actually expect to be. So this has been my uh, field report, weather is abnormally cold for this time of year and there's no wind in sight. And the liberals are still denying it. It's one or the other. 
either it's warming up or it's getting colder. And they're saying it's warming up, so I should be seeing 70 degrees out there. I'm not. I have seen warm temperatures before, just to be honest, in April. I have seen that. Granted, it's fact. But it's very cold right now. I want to fax of Mars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we won't lose power here. Have a nice day.